Let's discuss the work presented on cancer signal of origin detections and diagnostic resolutions and their clinical re relevance. However, not all MSET tests in clinical development are able to report a cancer signal of origin. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, Dr. Schramm. When we talk about MSEDs, it's important to uh, recognize that not all of them are able to produce a tissue of origin or CSO, and others are. Clinically, it's one thing to be able to find a signal. It's another to know where it's coming from. Uh, and without knowing where it's coming from, um, it's not much help at all. I think it's interesting from a basic science standpoint, but if you have a patient in front of you, you need to be able to tell them where this uh, cancer is likely to be, uh, or at least be close. There are studies that were reported at ASCO uh, by Eric Klein, for example, um, that showed that there was diagnostic resolution and achieved in about four out of five uh, over 80% of participants after the initial diagnostic evaluation. It reminds me a little bit of uh, if you're missing a cell phone and you ask your friend to call the phone to find out where it is. If you don't have somebody around, you just know that you're missing your phone and you don't know where it is. But certain tests like uh, Gallery are able to actually tell you where's the cancer likely to be. And that is clinically important and I think is essential uh, for this type of test. There's another study uh, from AACR, a poster presented by Dr. O. This was a, a review looking at uh, tumor of origin prediction um, in uh, MSED tests. The takeaway from this is that the accuracy of the tissue of origin prediction was quite high. Again, around 80% or four out of five. Certain cancers have um, more accuracy than others, but they're all quite good. My point I'd like to leave you with is that uh, an MSED that doesn't have a tissue of origin component to it, I don't think is, is helpful. Thank you so much for that statement, Dr. Schramm. I know for us in the, in the primary care world, ordering a mammogram looking for breast cancer and then working up that breast cancer, um, you know, we have a place to look, right? And, um, you know, the, the associated diagnostic resolution and workup um, in theory can definitely be tailored with um, less whole body or advanced imaging if we have that kind of uh, signal or, or clue to go and, and look at first. So thank you for that. There, there was a study also by Tyson that showed that um, advanced imaging identified the tissue cancer of origin following a positive MSED test, uh, resulting in fewer procedures to find where that cancer was compared to just molecular testing alone. That's an interesting study, although I think uh, it does raise the question of, of cost, but um, if you're an individual and you have a positive test and there is question, um, it, it's possible that uh, advanced imaging could get you to the diagnosis a little bit sooner than, than molecular testing alone. Uh, so that is one of the hurdles that needs to be sorted out as we improve and develop MSEDs going forward. Again, thank you, Dr. Schramm, and this analysis really highlights the need for ongoing innovation in cancer detection and cancer localization as separate part of the MCA tests. To end this chapter, can you speak about the research on clonal expansion? What is clonal expansion and how does it play a role in regards to misdiagnosis or that false positive result? There's a, a term in, we use in hematology called clonal hematopoiesis of indeterminate potential. And basically what that means is there are bone marrow cells that for all intents and purposes are clones of one another. And there's a subset of population that are clones and they don't necessarily become malignant at all, but we know that they live in the bone marrow. Um, the only unfortunate part of this is that they have a methylation pattern that sometimes can be uh, confused with a CSO signal, a cancer signal. And so, uh, some of these tests are better than others at uh, being able to differentiate between an aberrant signal originating from the clonal hematopoiesis or CHIP uh, versus a true cancer signal. Thank you, Dr. Schramm. What you, would you say is the most important take-home message for our learners from this chapter? I think that correct identification of a true cancer signal um, and tissue of origin can reduce time to a true positive diagnosis with the hope that this would potentially save lives, uh, beginning with uh, earlier diagnosis, sooner treatment, and possibly cure.